Welcome back. We are continuing our project of building a smart contract project with Brownie from scratch. Previously, we created a new Brownie project, we built a smart contract, and we built a Python script to automate deployment. In this lecture, we're going to build a Python script to interact with the smart contract. So inside of our code editor, we can go into deployment.py and we can add more code here. You could also write another script so you can have multiple scripts going. Let's build another function inside of our script that is going to call, going to be called interact with contract. In here, we are going to access our hello world object. So we do need to have it be saved. So we could pass in hello world when we call interact with contract and we could have our previous function return hello world. All right, so to interact with the contract, we're going to grab the contract hello world and we can call one of its functions such as getting a number. So we can call hello world dot get number. This is the contract function called get number. Then we can save that as the value and then we can print out the result of the value. Then in the main function we can add a call to interact with contract and we do have to save the results of deploy contract then for that to work. Back in our terminal we can call our run again so we can run the script again for that we use the same command as previously brownie run deployment and this is going to perform the deployment and then it's going to print out zero it printed out zero because that is the initial value of number okay and we can add in some more code here other than just getting the number we can also change the number because remember in hello world we have a function called change number so let's grab the contract and call its function change number let's change the number from 0 to 123 so we pass in the argument that the function requires but we also have to pass in the account that is doing the transaction because this time we're not just reading a value on the smart contract we want to change a value in the smart contract and to do that to make any kind of change you have to do it as a transaction otherwise it won't actually change what's on the blockchain so anytime you want to make a change then you then you have to do it as a transaction so you have to pay for it in this case it's test ether but you still have to specify from which account are you doing the transaction so we're just going to use our accounts at index one so it's just one of the default accounts provided by brownie then we can save this as a transaction because then we should call transaction.wait to wait a moment for the transaction to occur and then we can print out the value of the number again. So we can call hello world.getNumber and we can print out the value after the transaction has been performed. So let's go back to the terminal and call brownie run deployment again and this time you can see we have the deployment then we have a transaction to change the number so initially the value is zero but after change number has been confirmed the value is 123 so we were able to print the value initially and then change the value and print it after note that if you don't specify the account then it's going to select a default All right so in that way we're able to print the initial value and then change the value and then print the new value 
So that is how you can automate a smart contract with Python. Coming up next, we're going to learn how we can test our smart contracts with Python so we can automate testing. Don't miss the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.